in this video we head to Canada which is one of my favourite tracks on the entire calendar it's a race that saw one of the most bonkers and probably one of the best ever races in 2011 What's going on guys, Brown here and welcome back to the F1 career mode. If you missed the last one, last time out in Baku, it was uploaded a little while ago, then make sure to go check that out before you see this one. I will link it down below. But into qualifying for Canada, you would have seen we just did another uh, upgrade on the on the durability side. And we got a nice toe off George Russell in that first run and we actually go P4. But you can see it's starting to darken up a little bit and we've dropped to P16, we briefly P15, you would have seen there if you got eagle eyes. But we are half a second up nearly, four temps up, just under five temps up through at the final chicane. Hopefully the wall of champions isn't waiting for us. But we get through unscathed, we cross the line and we go up from P18 into P7 and we will progress into Q2 those that are fallen are our teammate including both McLarens as well both Williams as well as well as Antonio Giovinazzi a poor um, run for them two McLarens but as we go into Q2 and you can see right at the start of the session it, it is raining so it's vital that we get this lap in as quickly as we can the the track definitely got wetter very quickly as we go around the lap started off all right that final sector you would have seen there how wide we went at the final at the at the hairpin through the final chicane being very gingerly on the throw don't want to bin it in the wall of champions as we head up to the line and that's going to put us into P4 and that might be the one, one and only lap in the session as we sim on now you can see there on the weather the just the rain coming down still 7 minutes left in the session just under 7 minutes and no one else went out so we are into Q3 where it is still raining still on the dry surprisingly the track though it is raining not not ready yet for inters but it definitely is now the amount of oversteer we're literally skating around this track we struggle to get it out of that out of that chicane heading into the last chicane now and up to the line then you lose the back end again heading up to the line now we cross the line that puts us into p6 so as we skip on towards the end of the session you can just see actually it's further around the lap we tried to go try to go again on the same set of tires but the track had just got so much worse so we were forced to back off you can see there we're nearly two seconds down on our lap and that was the last lap so this we're back once is again the beside race. the saint lawrence river here in montreal for the canadian grand prix the event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race, and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. It's one of the fastest races of the season here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve, with around 60% of this 2.7 mile circuit taken at full throttle. There are 14 corners to navigate, the very last of which has its very own infamous history. Could be the cause of a safety car today. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant, and tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off.
let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Albon, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Stroll, Perez, Brown and Kimi Raikkonen, Fiat, Ricardo, Kevin Magnussen and Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Sainz, Lando Norris and Quan Yu Zhou. Latifi, Ocon, Russell and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So we've got a very, very good qualifying. We've got a good strategy. Two stops, soft, medium, soft. And the lights are out and it's another Mercedes front row. Who's going to challenge them though down into turn one? It's not that long of a run as we are going to send it down the inside. We're onto the grass as we try to get past Charles Leclerc there. And I believe it's Max Verstappen, Lance Stroll just behind us there as we flood through. And towards the first chicane we go. And they're side by side. Look at Lance Stroll trying to get around the right side. In the racing point, we're just kind of lurking back. Verstappen fends off his all oh, that was so close to the back of Charles Leclerc. And Charles Leclerc not able in to get past the Red Bull of Max Verstappen at the start there. But now we are right on the back of, of this Ferrari. As we are getting closer and closer. No DRS is caused, so it's gonna be hard to get this move done. And we're going to have to wait, but we're gonna send it. I thought we waited there. We had it into the final again. That is a, an amazing move and we get the job done on Charles Leclerc and now Lance Stroll might even get it done as we are now on the back of Max Verstappen in his Red Bull. But this is a replay of the start Sergio Perez we just breeze past both racing points we send it down the inside but we had to get out of it because of Leclerc and Verstappen going side by side. We do I kind of just watch them and we're left defending Lance Stroll there so, and this is how close we got to the back we did didn't get any damage maybe just a tiny bit but nothing too much there as we are right on the back of Max Verstappen here our pace round here this isn't this isn't a joke we're actually this quick if this was every weekend I'd love it as we dive bomb Max Verstappen and we take that position I'm just Loving this at this point, we are around 99.9% .9 of the track on a different planet with, compared to the Red Bulls in terms of and the, and the Ferraris or how bad we are compared to them. It didn't last long though, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves as Max Verstappen is pretty much straight back past us and now he's just going to disappear up the road because the soft tyres around this track as soon as they start to degrade just the tiniest bit they just hit the cliff they feel all right one lap and then literally one lap later they just hit the cliff then you've got no grip whatsoever and we've got to that point and Charles Leclerc have actually really overtaken Verstappen this was before I think this was a little bit earlier and then Verstappen up the road from us. This was just to show just uh, how much we were struggling. But we've got Leclerc on the back of us, followed by Stroll. We touched the grass there. We're actually qu quite realistic. I think this was before the performance um, update came in because this was filmed not like quite a while ago because I just I just record pre-recorded so many episodes in this series. But we're coming, coming in to make our first stop. We're going to go into the mediums. So I wanted to be quick at the start and the end of the race. And so far that is paying off. We do be out Charles Leclerc who has gone on to another set of the soft tyres. I believe in this race. So we're just going to have to nurture these mediums. Get them as deep into the race as we can. And then we can blitz it to the end on the soft. We're going to go come out side by side with I believe that is Roman Grosjean. And you can see there one of McLaren's coming out ahead of Charles Leclerc. So we have a quite a nice buffer to Charles Leclerc. But skipping on a couple of laps now. This was after the stops and everything. 
Charles Leclerc right behind us, and we've actually both beaten out Max Verstappen. And Verstappen sends it on both of us. What is he doing there? I mean, that massively caught me out. I was, I'd already turned into the corner. I don't know what the Dutchman was thinking there, but we're going to have a run on him. But he's, out, he must have his DRS button, obviously, and his overtake button on. We turned ours off because I couldn't get the move done and we might actually lose a place with Charles Leclerc but Charles Leclerc backs out of it mid-corner. That's very dangerous there, you don't want to be doing that there because you just lose so much pace heading down into turn one. Verstappen though had bolted and this is where Charles Leclerc's soft tyres really did come into their own. Just us on the mediums, I just couldn't stand up to the Ferrari. The Ferrari very much not quite the midfield team it is in real life at the minute otherwise I think we'd just walk all over that Ferrari but he's still got some pace he's still fairly quick in a straight line because this was before the performance update but we just had to wait and be patient because those soft tyres were gonna go off at one point and it is pretty much now we're just we were just doing enough just to stay in his DRS and we're just kind of chilling you know he's got the popcorn ready he's pinged it in the microwave ready for when we can just go all in and get back past Charles, Le Charles Leclerc potentially as we're now going to think about it into turns one we're too far back Charles Leclerc now into the pits he goes to make his final stop that will be onto the medium compound tyres as we skip on now, and there's a massive engine failure. That is Kimi Raikkonen in his Alfa Romeo. No, sorry, it's Antonio Giovinazzi. And he's actually made contact there with one of the Renaults as well, for good measure. As that Italian car, we're on about how the Italian Ferrari engine, and it's gone there as well. For Antonio Giovinazzi as pass now comes Lance Stroll because he's on the soft tyres as well so although the soft tyres seem to go off very quickly for Charles Leclerc they've still got some life in for Lance Stroll so Lance Stroll doing a great job of keeping those tyres alive but out of the race goes Albon and there's a safety car deployed on lap 23 not too long left to go in this race this is what happened to Albon and it's a massive engine failure there so Honda and Ferrari both going bang in this race safety car deployed and that could mix things right up it's going to mean that we're going to have to we're still going to go into the softs but we're going to have to take them a little bit longer than I was expecting. I was still going to do another two, three laps on those soft tyres before I ideally really, want, really wanted to pit. So, Albon is out. The safety car is out. So, we're going to pit. We're going to be followed in by the Ferrari there. And we're going to go on to a set of the soft tyres. And... We're just going to have to hope that the safety car stays out for a good couple of laps because if it doesn't then we could be screwed. The tyres could really switch off at the end of the race but if the safety car stays out for a couple of laps you can see there. This is just the game break and you can see here we clearly beat out Lance Stroll but we have to hand him back the position. We'd have seen there right at the line. This was something that played a big part in my F1 2019 career mate. It happened here at Canada with Roman Grosjean. It happened um, in Belgium when I was battling Max Verstappen in his Ferrari on last year's game and Codemasters still haven't fixed it. That move was not illegal. We beat simply beat him out of the pits. I even went back and I got to the line stopped at the line and we were already clearly ahead of Lance Stroll so Codemaster if they're watching this they're probably not but if they are please fix that because it's just a little thing but that could end up costing us in this race and we'll just see because it's not it's not an illegal move we haven't overtaken under the safety car we've just beat them out of the pits and the nature 
the pits is here, it's the same with Belgium that you kind of you cut the first corner a bit so whereas the game bridges that as an overtake assist of an Ocon remember the contact he actually got caught out um, yeah it's just not it just needs fixing it just needs ironing out because it's a big part in F1 doing that undercut under the safety car and you can't do it on the game because you just get penalised for it as we are right on the back now of Lance Stroll and we get past Lance Stroll and now can we get after Charles Leclerc in this race as one of the AlphaTauris now as we're going to send it down the inside of Lance Stroll go to the outside we're right to the edge of the track we nearly nearly hit clip um, nearly clipped the um, the Alpha Tower. This was actually quite deep into the race, and this was a move I really wasn't happy about because I feel like I'd done so well to keep Lance Stroll off and then up. I really felt like he held me up at that chicane, so I was not happy. I was really annoyed at this point as Kvyat goes down her inside, and I was just in a world of my own. I was raging. And I was I was not suitable to drive. Let's be honest. That's why Daniel Kvyat is round because I I was like we got to the corner. I was like I'm not backing out, and I was like get out the way. So I turned in. I yes, it was per it was purposely done by Kvyat and he's our rival. So that just makes it. I did I wasn't even thinking that at the time, but. Yeah, Kavia, I will single-handedly hold my hands up and go, that was my fault, because I was fuming. I was fuming with Stroll, because I was still, I was still annoyed from the safety car, because, like I was saying a minute ago, that safety car cost me the race. It cost me a chance of beating Charles Leclerc, because I had to re-overtake Lance Stroll, who I shouldn't have had to re-overtake in the first place. Whilst I was battling Lance Stroll, Charles Leclerc was getting away and my tyres were dying. But it is going to be a win for Lewis Hamilton, but it's not because he has a 5 place grid penalty, so it's going to be a win for Valtteri Bottas. And in fact, Lewis Hamilton, I believe, is not even going to finish on the podium. You can see how bad our tyres are there as we cross the line for P7. It's the end of the race, we'll see you in Park Fermi. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. I know we shouldn't really drendle on this, but it's still a good result, what we got. But I just think we could have, we really could have put the fight to Charles Leclerc. It's just that safety car, code masters, please, please, please fix that. Because it's a big part in, in real life Formula 1, when there's safety cars and things. And they really do decide races, so... Please, please just fix that. You can see the constructors. I mean, it's still points. It's still P7, but it could have been more. That's my point. There's no guarantee if, if that move isn't illegal that we would have got Charles Leclerc. It's just that we had the chance to get Charles Leclerc. And that's where it's kind of annoying. It's, it's something that really shouldn't 
be in the game because it's not an illegal move but that really kind of decided my race to be honest and thinking back to that one on F1 2019 luckily we had the pace to go on and re-overtake Max Verstappen and win that race but like here the car we're massively outperforming the car and that ultimately cost us our race I'm not like I was saying a second ago I'm not saying that we would have beat Charles Leclerc but we would have at least had a chance to if we'd already been ahead of Lance Stroll where we should have been in the first place so you would have seen there um we did an update on the durability because after um the last couple of episodes we just need to work on that side we've got four upgrades coming for France hopefully if they come in maybe Austria as well gonna do the activities now and yeah I think looking back on Canada it I think I'm always gonna be thinking of that penalty but overall it was a great weekend and we really were up there fighting with the big guys and it weren't that we were holding everyone up we generally had the pace to go hammer and tong with those big guys we were ahead of Verstappen at one point but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe let me know what you thought of the race and let me know what you think of the what I've been on about with the with the legal move down below and I will see you for the French Grand Prix